Uh, yeah, Dad Jarvis. Yeah, Cousin Cheek here. Uh, yep, yep, having a great day, yeah. And, uh, yeah, Buford and Bentley, they went on down to the river. They took my shotgun and 200 rounds of ammo. Yep, uh, personally, I don't see what them city folk get out of that. But they seem to think that shooting the rapids is a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, personally, I'd rather be uh, wasting that ammunition on some coons and possums instead of shooting at the water, but, you know, whatever trips the trigger. All right, uh, yeah, uh, now get back to the problem uh, with your swimming pool there and the algae on top. Now, what I do there, and this is so easy, is just take like one, two gallons of gasoline and just pour it right on top of the pool water there, throw in a match, and uh, that algae will just burn right off of there. And you just take a scraper and scrape all the black stuff off the top of the water when you're done. It is just that easy. And it's just common sense. Uh, now, uh, yeah, I did, uh, I did get my fence and my deck rebuilt. Yeah, they burned right to the ground. Uh, so you do have to watch that situation a little bit. And... Uh, Yep, yep, yep. Riley's boy, yeah, he likes to come over and swim right under the water when I'm burning that off there. And, uh, yeah, he lost his hair a couple times, but it growed back fast. He seems to think he's practicing for them movies or something, but he has a good time anyway. All right, all right, we'll talk at you later. You give that a try. Okay, bye-bye now. Hello there, Furlough. Yeah, what do you want there? Uh, yep, yep, uh, I heard that story. I know what you mean there. I don't know what possessed Buford and Bentley to want to go swimming in the wintertime, but I always warned them to stay away from that square fenced-in pond down there by River Road Bend. Yep, yep, I just forget. They don't know how to read too good yet, and it seemed like them three-word sewage treatment plant was just a little above their reading level. Yep, they got back. We just about got them cleaned up. <laughs> now they're up on the mountain there making one of them snowman snowballs and ready to roll it down just over Aunt Millie's place, so I better get over and supervise that. Alrighty, you have fun, and uh, we'll talk at you later. You have a great day, and yeah, bye-bye. Yeah, right. Uh, yep, Cousin Jeek here. Yep, I know just what you mean. Yep, when Bentley told me that Uncle Jarvis gave a pair of roller blades to Buford, I pretty much knew he needed his head re-examined for about the third time. Yep, yep. Seems like uh, Buford made it fine down that first run. But then when he hit that four-mile stretch straight down Firecracker Mountain, they said they clocked him at like 130 to 150 miles an hour. Yep, yep. Good thing Pinecone Lake was at the end of that run. Or right now we'd be peeling Buford's body off a big fat pine tree with a butter-scraping bug knife. Yep. Yep, they said the wheels on them skates were so hot and flaming, they pretty much burned up and left a two-inch groove, groove in the road there. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Anyway, he's going to be okay, and I hope better sense prevails next time. Alrighty, we'll talk at you later. You have a great day. Bye-bye. Uh, hello there, folks. This is Cousin Jeek here again, and I just wanted to let you know real quick uh, that me and Cousin Farley have started a whitewater rafting company. And uh, uh, if you get in here real quick and write to uh, Cousin Jeek at Brownie County, we'll get you in on that. Now, so far, it is just some white foam that we're putting on Aunt Millie's pond. But as we get more revenues, we're going to upgrade that. So uh, we can get you in cheap there if you hurry up. So. Alrighty. Hey, you have a great day. We'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.